if you're looking to be the best version of yourself maybe now is the time to look into investing and building your personal brand and now i'm here for the novice not for the expert or the amateur or you've just heard the term personal brand personal brand this video is for you you're gonna learn how to build your personal brand sustain your personal brand where to start from the importance of building your personal brand are you ready for this let's dive right into it let's go Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, you are welcome. My name is Akari Ajibadi, but you can definitely call me Corey. Here it's all about intentional living, encouraging you to embrace the power in your story, your uniqueness, and as well, owning it. Let's dive right into what I have to talk about today. Here is how you can build your personal brand from the scratch. I know that you have a lot to learn from this, okay? I'm sure you've probably heard of branding, 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 personal branding, but you're probably just still yet to understand it clearly. And this is just a quick summary, or this is just a quick definition of what a personal brand is. Personal branding is what everyone already exhibits in their personal life. You know, when you hear people talk about you and say particular things about you, that is personal branding. That is how well you've behaved in a particular way you've presented yourself in a particular way and now people know you for that and that is why the testimony you will hear from person a b c d and e will be consistent about you because you've constantly acted behaved presented yourself in that particular way often and that has now made up your personal brand and become your, your brand testimony so just in case you're like oh i don't need personal branding oh girl you do need personal branding you need to make sure that what people know about you or what people say about you is how you really want to be represented or why how you've been representing yourself subconsciously is actually who you really are correct so you said a lot of things about personal branding so how do i create my personal brand from scratch i'm a novice i don't even know where to start from this is where to start from what are you known for right now now you need to do a little survey or a little research. So I am not asking you to go ahead to create a Google survey or create a very big survey about yourself and all of that good stuff. No, no way. Now this is what you're going to do for me. You're going to go around you, your friends, your family, your colleagues, your siblings, your, your everyone around you, everyone that knows you that you have access to. You're going to go to each of them and tell them to tell you something about yourself. That is how you can know how people currently perceive you because you need to know first of all like how have I been so far like what are what are the different ways forms and shapes that I've been presenting myself and now you know what kind of message has that passed to people that are around me what do they even currently know about me now that's like a good starting point right now we need to reflect we need to find out we need to do a research to see how do people currently perceive you or what do people currently know about you when you do this research you begin to see where you struggle the most what you're good at what motivates you you begin to see what you do consistently what you're passionate about what you talk about more often these are the kind of questions you need to ask these people what motivates me what kind of things am i really good at part of my job seems to drain me or what what are the things that drains my energy what is that thing that you think i am passionate about these are the questions that you can ask these people to see how you've been projecting yourself so far from the lens of the people around you when you do this, when you do this, people begin to tell you things about yourself. You will find out that what your sister said about you and what your friend said about you is consistent. You begin to see that what your church member said about you and what your colleague at work said about you is beginning to look consistent. Know that right now, those things that those people say are the things that has made up your personal brand right now now at this point after doing all this research you have a decision to make now the second thing is that you now need to identify your passion from what they've said and you as well looking inwards ask yourself question what am i really passionate about like what is that thing that keeps me awake at night what is that thing that i love so much what is that thing that makes me happy that puts me you know that makes me really that makes me feel on top of the world like for me now i am so passionate about young people i'm passionate about being an impact i just gravitate towards young people generally young people like myself those coming right behind me like i just really gravitate towards young people and i realize that i can sit in a room and do everything that channels towards young people from now to like forever. So over to you, what makes you wake up at night and thinking of an idea? What 
keeps you up at night thinking and praying? What is that thing that you are passionate about? It's the beginning of this branding process from scratch. When you know what you're passionate about or the many things you're passionate about, it is a good starting point. Number three, define your values. In building your personal brand, remember where we started from? I started from saying, ask questions, do a research. Like all those questions you've asked people around you, you have that information in your information bank. And now you've also been able to find out what you are passionate about. Now is the time for you to define your values. Those things they know about you, those things that they believe about you, is that what you want to be known for? Now is the time for you to pick your sieve and begin to sieve out what you want and what you don't want. Here, where you define your values, I want you to understand that authenticity is the cornerstone of your personal brand at this point. When you define your values and you're authentic enough to stick to them, it makes people value you. It makes people see you for who you truly are. And when people are trying to approach you with something that does not align with your values, they know not to because they already know that this is, the, this is the kind of person this lady is. This is the kind of person this guy is. They know not to approach you with some kind of thing. Being authentic is about stating your values and being true to them. Know that tomorrow you come, you show up like this, and tomorrow you show up like that inconsistency so you have to define your values be authentic enough online offline everywhere you go people know that this is the person that you are number four be authentic i already talked about this a little bit but just to actually add a little more to it you have to be authentic authentic in how you project your values authentic in all ramifications of life because your personal brand it is you so one thing that you also always want to remember is in as much as i want to join the bag wagon in as much as i want to look cool am i losing myself in the process your personal brand shouldn't be a persona your personal brand is not an invention it is you a reflection of who you really are as a person and in terms of building a personal brand you have to find out what makes you stand out what makes you unique what is that unique you that lives inside of you that you need to project to the world that makes your personal brand stand out and pop amongst the crowd when you find that uniqueness when you find that thing that makes you different from every other person you have to embrace it embody it and project it every now and then because that is the you that the world does not know exists and you need to reflect and show more that is branding looking for your unique selling point and projecting it every now and then so the fifth thing is who are you speaking to i want you to understand that when you are building a personal brand you are crafting a voice you are showing who you are and what you stand for every time you show up every time you speak Every time you post a picture, every time you do the things you do, you are passing a message about yourself to the world around you, your family, your friends, your, your audience, your relationships. In everything that you do, you are passing a constant message and teaching them about yourself. Now, the question is, who are you for? Are you for the believers? Are you for the young? Are you for the old? Are you for the entrepreneurs? Who are you for? Your drive, your knowledge, and everything that you're projecting, who is it for? You need to define that. Who are you speaking to? What kind of tone do you use to speak to those kind of people? Because you're not for everybody. That is something I need to understand. You're not for everybody, and in building your personal brand, the earlier you understand that you're not for everybody, the better for you your potentials, all that you are, all that beautiful thing that you are, is not for everybody. And that is why you have to identify who you are speaking to, who are your audience. The next thing you need to do is that you need to make a plan. You need to make a plan as regards to what do you wanna do with this personal brand that you're building? Like, are you a content creator? Do you wanna be a content creator? Do you just wanna do this for yourself? Do you wanna do this before your career in order for you to have something well-structured and well-presentable for yourself when you're applying for jobs, when you're pitching for opportunities? What do you even want to do with this brand that you've been able to discover? Like I said, it can be for different reasons. First of all, as a content creator, do you want to do this in order for you to be able to structure yourself, know what you wanna do with your content, how you wanna project yourself out there? That is a good starting point. In this time and age, we all have social media. We all have a platform, 
existing platform. You have Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, name it. I created a documentary sometime last year and I discovered something that we all are creators. We all are content creators. So far you have Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, name it, TikTok, YouTube, whatever account you have, whatever platform you use on social media, you have a social media account, you are a content creator. Everybody's a content creator. That picture that you take when you go to the movies and post, that is content right there. That video that you recorded and you just posted on your reels, that is content right there. Now the question is that how do you want to let your personal brand reflect on your social media platforms? How do you want to represent this brand of yours that you're trying to build from scratch on your social media platform? This is how I would differentiate it. As a professional content creator and as a regular user content creator, <laughs> As a regular user content creator, how do you, what are the plans that you want to put in place to make yourself consistent with your brand and as well represent yourself the way you want to be perceived? Have you also been able to decide on the gap from where you are right now and where you want to be? You need to make a plan that, oh, where I am right now, people know me for being gentle and very reserved but no i am an outspoken person and i'm passionate about music so what do you want to do from this point of what people know you as or for what people know you for to that point that you want to get to so the, the question is what are the plans you want to put in place to get to that point that people begin to know you for that person that is passionate about music that can sing and is confident to project herself now the final step as regards to you building your personal brand from the scratch as a novice you need to document your journey and that is one thing that i love so much that is how i approach content creation and that is how i approach social media i am documenting my process i'm documenting my journey and that is how i use social media as a content creator i tell myself that currently you are teaching people what you are learning and you're teaching people what you know you are curating your experiences and publishing them and that is why it's now a much part of me that i'm always very eager to pick up my phone and record the moment and pick up my phone and do that and do that because it is me i love to document i love memories and because i love memories it has now channeled into my world of content creation so you need to document your journey you never know you never know you can start digging back into some of your past experiences and start sharing them you can you never know whatever thing interests you whatever thing you get up to whatever you love whatever you are passionate about talk about it those things are helping you to pass a message about your personal brand those things are reflecting who you are what you stand for who you're speaking to and all of these things i have mentioned so far and in, in terms of you documenting your journey you can choose instagram you can choose facebook you can choose youtube you can open a blog in fact you can choose your whatsapp status you can choose your instagram story whatever thing works for you just make sure that you are doing something about projecting your personal brand every now and then and every opportunity you get to talk about yourself to talk about the things you're passionate about to contribute to the things that you're passionate about don't miss it it is part of you documenting your journey your process and building your own story and i want you to note this you're not doing this for anybody you are doing this for yourself for the betterment of yourself for the betterment of your future and this is also an advantage for you if you're pursuing for a job you don't even have to do so much work because in this age and time where we live when you apply for a job they do a background search on you when they go on social media what you've written about yourself if it does not align with what they see on your social media platforms it becomes like uh, there's something going on here so these things work and in and and you all everyone needs a personal brand in fact you have a personal brand right now the question is the personal brand that you embody right now is that who you really are is that how you really want to be perceived is that how you really want people to know you is that what you really want people to know about you that is the question of the day i hope i've been able to help you out on how to build your personal brand from the scratch i hope i did a good job with that and i love the fact that 
anytime I teach like this, oh wow, did I just say teach? Anyways, anytime I share like this, I always try to break it down in the most easy way for anyone that come across this video to understand. And that's why I'm even targeting this particular video to every novice out there who has been thinking on how to build their personal brand. I hope this has been helpful to you. I hope this has brought you so much value. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up and share with someone that you feel like might need as well. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't, okay? Thank you all so much for watching this video and I will see you all on the next one where I'll be talking about personal branding, personal development and so much more. I love you so much and don't forget to make this all time, spread some good loving and be you. Peace out. Love you.